In this video, I want to demonstrate how to make a broken out section view. So for my slot here and here, I've yet to be able to dimension the depth. I cannot and should not dimension to a hidden view. But what I can do is I can add a broken out section view to either my right side or front view. So I'm going to add it to my front view. To make a broken out section view, I'm going to come up to the drawing ribbon and select broken out section. Next, I'll need to select a view to sketch in and you'll notice how my mouse now shows I'm sketching a spline tool. So I'm going to click up here, down, and I'm just going to keep clicking until I make a closed spline that will cut through the area I would like the section view in. I'm going to come over now to the broken out section property window and I'm going to tell I would like a preview. And I have two options to set the depth. I can set a physical depth here, such as one inch into the part from the face that I sketched on this face, or we can see this yellow arrow here in the other views showing how deep we are. I can also click here and then I can select an item in one of the other views to set the depth from. So for example, if I zoom in a bit here, I can select the center of this radius or the end point of the radius and the yellow line will jump accordingly and that will be the depth of my section view. So I'll accept this and now I have a broken out section view and now I can add the depth of this slot by right clicking on the ordinate dimension, selecting add to ordinate and selecting the solid line at the bottom of the slot and then saying OK. If I'm unhappy with the look of the broken out section, I can always edit it. First, I'll need to find out what view I placed it in. So if I hover over this, I see them in drawing view 11. Then I'll move over here and I'll expand drawing view 11 and I see my broken out section. So if I right click on it, I could delete it, I could edit the definition, or I can edit the sketch. So I want to edit the sketch, so change its shape. I'll turn that on and now I'm allowed to come out here to the spline and I can manipulate the spline by choosing one of the spline points until I'm happy with it. And then say OK. And then rebuild and that will update my broken out section. 